Thank you, DJ Jose. And welcome, everybody, to the block. We want to thank you for coming out this morning to the Metro A-Line reopening celebration. As some of you may know, we have a special guest with us today. But before I introduce him, I want to share some thoughts with you. It's a historic day in LA history. We're here to celebrate what was known as the Blue Line back in the day <laughs> and the completion of the $350 million new Blue Improvements Projects. This morning, the trains are back in service all the way from downtown Los Angeles to downtown Long Beach. It looks like he's made an entrance. We are hopeful that today's restored service sit, today's restored service, that we can go back to our normal community routine. We're celebrating several milestones today. Work on the northern segment of the A line is completed, allowing us to restart full train service to all 22 miles of the alignment. Metro today is also beginning to change the way we name and identify Metro Rail and bus BRT lines by using both a letter and a color. Other lines will follow soon. This is to make it easier for everyone to navigate our growing system. We installed new interactive digital screens in all stations to bring the latest technology to all of our customers. The public can now check train or bus arrivals and see service alerts, system and station maps, and even digital art. The digital screens are like giant tablets that are very easy for the public to use. I personally love them. Behind, behind Measure M, we're trying to vastly improve mobility in LA County and provide much better alternatives to driving than we've ever had in the past. This means not just building new projects to expand our system, but also taking care of what we already have. This is why the agency's State of Good Repair program is so important. With dedicated funds from Measure M, we can maintain our existing lines and equipment and keep them running in tip-top shape for decades to come. Completion of the new Blue Line Improvement Project is a great example of this vitally important program. I also want to talk to you about how the LA Line fits into the bigger picture at Metro. I really think we're well on our way to providing some of the best transit services the region has ever seen. The Crenshaw LAX Line, no it should be Crenshaw Inglewood LAX Line, Inglewood LAX Line will soon be in service and that will eventually provide a connection to LA International Airport through the LAX Automatic People Mover. Here in downtown LA, the regional connector is linking A and the E line, formerly Expo, and the Gold Lines to make rides through and to downtown faster with fewer transfers. The Purple Line extension to the west side is also under construction. The subway will provide a fast and convenient way to reach the second largest job center in our region. On the east side of the county, the Foothill Gold Line extension to Pomona is underway as we speak. This will provide a much needed transfer between the Gold Line and the Metrolink service to the Inland Empire. Measures R and M have made these rail projects possible. Combined with the A-Line and our other existing lines, these projects will contribute to a true, toward a true comprehensive transit network. These projects will improve our air quality and offer reliable transportation options to our residents. Again, I'm so pleased that our work is finally done. But now, I want to introduce our MC because this is why everybody's here. <laughs> Not because transit is so sexy. <laughs> I want to introduce Snoop. <laughs> The Grammy nominated hip hop artist. He also has the Snoop Youth Football League, the SYFL. He has a special needs component that allows a pro program for special needs children. He's a good friend. He's moved his production headquarters to Inglewood, California. I want to introduce a great icon, community leader, and a friend of mine, Snoop Dogg.
Do I use this mic or this mic? Cause you know I'm a rapper, so I like holding my mic. Let me hold my microphone, man. You understand me? I want to thank the mayor for being such a great friend and a, a great leader in the community of Inglewood. I've been in Inglewood for about five or six years, and the moment I walked into Inglewood, I met the mayor and I seen the great things and the visions that he had for Inglewood, and he put all of that vision to life. And I'm looking at Inglewood become one of the greatest cities in California right now, thanks to the mayor and his team of people who really go to work every day to make Inglewood a better place to, to live for us. And it's about us, too. It's not being gentrified, whatever that word is. They're not pushing us out of Inglewood. I don't know what that word is, but I know it ain't happening in Inglewood, because we're not having that. You understand what I'm saying? So, first of all, I want to say that I'm very excited to be celebrating with you guys, what I used to call the Blue Line back in the days when I was young, Snoop. And I used to get around in the city from Long Beach to Inglewood because I didn't have a record deal, so the only action was in LA. So me and Warren G would catch a Metro Rail from Long Beach all the way to Inglewood. And we didn't know what neighborhoods we was going through, but it just was a great ride. And it was a fun ride, and it was, everything was beautiful. And to see them put something back into the community like this and give it a new, you know, new name with some new tricks. Now the name is the A-Line, right? We got it, the A-Line now, y'all. It's gonna be running through cities like Willowbrook, Compton, Long Beach. You understand what I'm saying? The real cities. So we wanna show some love today to all the beautiful people that helped put this thing together around the city, all of the leaders and all of the people behind the scenes. That's what we need to get this city back in action again, for everybody to start working together and start being hand for hand for each other. And the good thing is that old dogs like myself can use that rail line too to get around and move and make things happen. So all you people that don't really have ways of getting around, that A-line is gonna get you around like you need to get around in the real way. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up the first speaker. And the first speaker is Holly Mitchell. Sister Holly. from 
the LBC to LA, but we think about it from LA to the LBC. Woo! And this new A line is gonna be dynamic. What I hear is if you if you actually listen to Snoop Dogg be Dog, it becomes an A plus line. Woo! And look, we want to make it cool to ride the Metro line. We have to. And from now till Monday, we're going to be giving free rides. So you got to tell everybody, jump on, get free rides. That's what I hear is happening, right? Cadet. Woo! So it, everybody's got a cell phone, right? So you can tweet it, you can Facebook it, you can Instagram it. You can give this to everybody. Free rides from now till Monday. How's that sound? And we've got to spread the word because we want to do the right thing for climate change. We want to get cars off our streets, but there's something a little bit more. You never have to find a place to park. No traffic, no tickets, no car insurance. It's free till Monday, no waiting, and you're not going to get a ticket for tweeting, for watching Facebook or watching a Snoop Dogg video. This is the coolest thing ever on earth. So we're going to try to make uh, transportation cool again. Tell everybody about it. Free rides, go to Metro, A-Line, that's the way to go. Thank you very much. We want to continue to do that. And sure, we're here with Snoop Doggy Dog. Y para los, medi pa los medios de comunicación en español es muy importante. Ahora estamos haciendo la línea azul se convierte a la línea A. Y de aquí al lunes van a ver rides gratuitos para todas nuestras comunidades. Es muy importante para a combatir el clima clínico y el, para combatir el costo uh, de la gasolina, para combatir todo lo que vemos en tráfico. Es importante usar um, el metro y de aquí al lunes va a ser uh, gratis. Gracias. Gracias, Snoop Doggy Dog. Santiago. Gracias, Mr. Santiago. We appreciate that. Great words of wisdom. Now, coming to the stage, would you make some noise for L.A. Councilman Curran D. Price Jr. Good morning. This is a great day today, isn't it? And not just because Snoop is with us, huh? But because we're kicking off a new line, uh, the A line. At 30, the worn out and aging blue line has finally gotten a much needed makeover. And she's never looked more refreshed, more vibrant, and more beautiful. Yes, after months of waiting and hoping, the A-Line is open for business. That's right. $350 billion investment just for you to improve the overall customer experience and to give Angelinos greater peace of mind and some more time. <laughs> That's right. Today we're going to bring the A-Line into the 21st century. This is welcome news for tens of thousands of daily riders whose lives are disrupted by months of construction and shutdowns. And that certainly was true uh, as, the, as the line was improved going through District 9, uh, everywhere from uh, Washington Boulevard and down to Watts. And so we thank you for bearing with us while the crews handled the repairs. We thank you for your patience as this popular line underwent some significant upgrades. Now you get to enjoy the benefits and those improvements, including the new enhanced safety, uh, better lighting, new paint, more importantly, a reliable commute that comes with fewer delays, not to mention breakdowns. Because we all know how important our time is, don't we? Is your time important? Well, out with the old and in with the new, the new improved A-Line. All of us here share the vision to make LA a more uh, mobile region. And we understand that we need to expand and improve our transit system to do that so that we can make it easier for everyone to get around town. It's my hope that Angelinos will lead the way in having a first class infrastructure that's unmatched connectivity between local neighborhoods, transit centers, schools, and other key destinations. Just as importantly, it has to be accessible for all Angelino, right? So this day is proof that funding transportation matters, and it's an issue that's important to every one of us. So now it's time to get on board the A-Line. Hey, good word. Yeah, yeah. Great words, Councilman. 
And now our next speaker and his team at Metro Work. <laughs> They've been putting in that hard work every day to help us all move around through the city of Los Angeles. He's an Army veteran from the south side of Chicago. Yeah. Please make some noise for Metro CEO, Phil Washington. Exactly what you were talking about. 
But seeing this grant from the state, seeing the federal money and what voters asked for, $350 million as we build new lines to let folks know who use the lines every single day, not only have we not forgotten about you, we're going to start with you. So that's what we're celebrating, an upgraded, a renamed, old blue line, now A line. And I want to thank everybody who has been working hard here in Watts. Let's give it up for the community who is represented here today, our community groups, our chambers, our neighborhood councils. This has the highest ridership traditionally of any line in Los Angeles. And so there are more than three dozen new digital screens where at the touch of a finger you can get up to the minute updates on service alerts when the next train or bus is arriving. Metro will be rolling these touch screens out of stations across the county, but we're starting with the A line right here. And when we look at this line, we can gaze back, we can see the history of the old Watts Depot right here. You can see the new great Rosa Parks station, which has reopened and an amazing transit center where not only the blue line comes through, but the green line comes through as well. So we are here to celebrate the future of Watts, the future of Los Angeles, the future of this county. So let's drop it like it's hot and keep going. Thank you very much. Mayor Garcetti, look at him. Shout out to Mayor Garcetti. That's been my friend for a long time. That was a great, great, great speech you put together, brother. Now let's hear from L.A. City Councilman Joe Buscaina. All right, all right. Thanks, Sue. Got the last name right, too. Half Italian. You got to be half Italian. Thanks, Sue, for the introduction. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for joining us here in Watts, and Jackie for your leadership on the Metro Board. I, too, am just blessed to be a part of... Um, bringing back a new and improved A-Line, along with our leaders here, our community-based organizations, Watts Gang Task Force, our neighborhood council leaders, among others. And I'm just very excited about this. And although I'm going to be honest with you, everyone, this will always be the blue line to me. But today we're celebrating more than a new and improved A-Line. We are truly celebrating more than a light rail train. today. We're celebrating the connectivity between communities, uh, the connection between art, music, and culture, and people through, through transportation and mobility throughout our city and throughout our county. And just down the street, we have public art honoring jazz composer Charles Mingus. We have, of course, the internationally known Watts Towers right down the street from us. We are all connected through LA Metro and our transportation system, and just this, we, there's more to come. Soon, as you heard from um, previous speakers, the Crenshaw Line will open connecting the city to uh, LAX and the Green Line to the Expo Lines. The Gold Line is expanding further east. The Purple Line will finally be extended and so much more. All these things, all geared up for our entire city to host the 2028 Summer and Paralympic Games here, Olympic Games in the city of Los Angeles and throughout our region. So, you know, it can feel like there's a lot of bad news in the world right now. Turn that off. But here today, we are celebrating good things happening in our city and throughout our county because, as Al Davis said it best, just win, baby. Just win. And Watts is winning. Thank you. Back to you, Snoop. Thank you, Smoking Joe. That was a beautiful piece of conversation you put together. All good news today. We don't want to hear no bad news. All good news today. Thank you again, Councilman. Our third and final speaker over at Watch Towers is Metro Board member Jacqueline DuPont Walker. today for the festivities. Now, I don't know if you'll notice, but when you count, there'll be three mayors uh, speaking to us today. 
uh, and all three serve on the board. Of course, I want to thank Mayor R. Garcetti and to acknowledge your commitment to delivering equitable transportation investments like the one we are witnessing today. It seems like something that ought to happen, but 29 years ago, LA City Mayor Tom Bradley and Supervisor Kenneth Hahn risked their political careers to actually tell us to get on a train. Now we have the blue line that again will still be a trailblazer. This will be the first. There will be nothing before the A-line. So today we celebrate the A-line. <laughs> Councilman Busciano, thank you for welcoming us to your city hall here in Watts. And we want to thank everyone who's come out today and those who are watching us. You are watching us from Watts Willowbrook. It's been a long time coming, but we finally made it. We're saying goodbye to the Blue Line and we're saying thanks to the Blue Line for 29 years of service. But we will continue now on the A train. The A train is on the track. Metro has been hard at work over the last several months to improve the vital services. You've heard from the previous speakers about the digital displays. You've heard uh, information about the art series that will now be there for us, where we will see each one of you who has been captured, those who ride our trains already. Because really today is actual celebration of the people who travel the A-Line. What you see today is an investment in the community and our commitment as a board to say thank you for entrusting us with this opportunity to bring this service to you again and to serve you. This major investment, not only for LA County, but for the region, will connect us, as Mayor uh, Garcia says, to the first ocean, Long Beach. Today, it is really about you. And we want you to know that our work is not completely done. You've heard about the Rosa Parks station that is coming soon. So we'll be back. Stay tuned. Join that. LA Region, we are proud to serve you as your board and bring this improved line. For the next 72 hours, we hope to see you on the Hay Line. Thank you for coming out today. For those who are watching and have not come out yet, join us on the A train. Go Metro. Thank you, Sister Walker. Um, before I go any further, I'd like to get everybody to make some noise for the late, great Kenneth Hahn and Mayor Tom Bradley. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a dream come true. Please believe it. Now we want to welcome our friends over at Promenade Square in the LBC, the place that gave birth to Snoop D O Double G. Yes, sir. Uh, first up is Long Beach Mayor, Mr. Robert. Garcia. All right, Snoop, thank you. Thank you, Snoop. We, of course, are here out uh, in the LBC uh, and enjoying a great day and want to say that we want to welcome everyone from the A-Line uh, coming all the way from Los Angeles all the way down to Long Beach. Uh, this is over a $350 million investment uh, by Metro and all of our partners. And for the first time ever, all the lines and all the stations down here in Long Beach are receiving really great upgrades from new digital signs, new landscaping, uh, new stations, paint, art, and most importantly as well, uh, new riders are going to be coming into the A-Line all the way from downtown Long Beach to downtown Los Angeles. And most importantly, this is now also a faster ride, and so those that are traveling will be getting to their destinations quicker than they have in the past. The trains that we all know are also many of them, and most of them are new. And as mayor of Long Beach and a Metro board member, we want to thank everyone at Metro for their incredible work and to encourage people once again to ride for free over the next few days. Uh, lastly, I just want to say that the express bus shuttle that has been going on for the last few months is going to continue and so if you have enjoyed the new downtown Long Beach or downtown LA express shuttle that will continue as the new A-line opens up here uh, in Long Beach and across uh, the county. So let's, uh, thank you again Snoop for being here. Uh, we're very proud of you in Long Beach to be here and please ride the all-new A-line. Thank you. See, that's, that's my mayor right there at LBC. Yeah. 
Mayor Garcia, LBC's finest. Yes, sir. Now please welcome California Assemblyman Patrick O'Donnell. Yo, let's give it up for Snoop, the main homie. All right, Snoop, come to Long Beach, a jackrabbit, right? Not too far up the road. Uh, thank you for uh, emceeing today, uh, Snoop. But more importantly, thank you for being here today and recognizing a great moment at Long Beach and really Los Angeles County history. The re, uh, how about the rebooting of the Blue Line into the A Line? And I, I was born not too far up the road here at St. Mary's Hospital. All five kids in my family were born there. But at that time, there was no Blue Line, no A Line. And we have it today, and what a difference it makes getting people out of their cars on the train. If you will want to avoid pain, take the train. All right, and I'm going to keep it short because I need people out here to get on that train, right? Get on that metro. Uh, but really, this is, I just want to thank all those who participated, certainly from the state level. We were a partner in ensuring that this happened through funding and other efforts. I want to thank our great supervisor, our, our mayor, board members of the metro who helped this happen. So this, again, is a great moment in Long Beach and regional history. And once again, if you want to avoid the pain, take the what? Take the train. All right, thank you. Shout out to Mr. O'Donnell for coming up with a rap while he was on stage. If you want to avoid the pain, take the train. That was a nice line. I like that. And now our next speaker is LA Council Supervisor and Metro Board Member Janice Hahn. Of it because you know I ain't got nothing else to do. 
And don't forget that Metro will offer free rides on the A-Line starting today through Monday. So that's 72 hours, three days of free rides. Get on there and see what it feels like. You can text, you can Instagram, you can do whatever you want to do while you're in there. Have some fun and spread the word. You can also join Mayor Butts and the other VIPs on the free ride after the ribbon cutting ceremony from 7th Metro Station to the Pico Station. So if you want to join the mayor and get on where you, where you fit in, come on, get out with us. Now, if I can get a request of all speakers together for a photo in the ribbon cutting ceremony at your location, all the speakers come together real quick. And thanks again for coming out today. My name is Big Snoop Dogg in LA. I love y'all.